Roswell Flight Test Crew, back here at CES 2016 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm here at the Pro Drone booth talking to Nicole Wiles. How are you doing, Nicole? Yes, sir. Doing very well. Doing very well. Outstanding. And they have got this incredibly cool little folding drone here, the bird. That's B-Y-R-D. So what you're seeing here is not actually a PlayStation. This is actually the most powerful consumer drone on the marketplace. And let me show you how this works. The drone itself folds out because it is unbelievably portable. You can just toss this thing into a backpack and go, whether you're a hobbyist, a hiker, a, a first responder, uh, or an actual professional that needs cinema grade, cinematography grade uh, uh, flying capabilities. That's the drone fully done out like this. Now, uh, let me show you something that uh, only people here at CES have been able to see, a world's first. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the world's first time that a consumer drone has ever been able to interoperate and carry mirrorless and DSLR level cameras. Never before has a consumer drone been powerful enough to lift a camera like this. We even have them capable to lift up to an A7 Sony, which is about a four and a half pound camera. Now that's a big payload. Very, very, very cool. Now this is a black magic camera and it is right now it is hard mounted. This is still great for uh, aerial photography for stills, but it's not quite yet up to state for really good cinematography and videography. We will, however, in Q2, maybe early Q3, have three access gimbals ready for a lot of these additional cameras. So here we are again with uh, one of our other ones. This is the A6000 from Sony, another world's first that we're able to do here. Because we can fully integrate with the Sony cameras, we're able to have the world's first full zoom capability from a consumer drone. And that's never been possible before. Now I understand the battery fits inside this on the top. You wanna show the people how that works? So because we're able to get such longer flight time, up to 30 minutes with these pro drone birds, and even at the A7, uh, four and a half pound camera, we get 12 to probably about 15 minutes worth of flight time. Now that's a very long flight time for some camera like that that is so unbelievably heavy. Now let's show you guys why we can do that. We have got a 7,000 milliamp battery in here. This is amazingly powerful. Gets that high level of lift capability for payload and uh, that extended flight time that uh, nobody else in the market has right now. All right, and so why don't you tell us a little bit about your controller here. Looks like you've got a place for a smartphone. Yeah, so our controller, like a lot of the other ones on the market, are very easy to use, uh, kind of modeled after video game kind of controllers. We have a carrier up here that'll be for an iPhone or even up to a full iPad. Some of the very interesting things about what we wanted to do for make it ease of use. About 80% of crashes from these consumer drones happen at takeoff or at landing. So we have a button right here that makes it very easy. It takes off for you, makes it, you know, when you're in the air, a lot easier to control. Also, if you don't want to try to crash it on landing, you hit this button, it will land for you. One of the really cool aspects here on the back, remember that zoom control I was talking about? With this right here, you can zoom in, zoom out. Again, one of the first times ever possible on a consumer level drone. This actually attaches to the Pro Drone Bird itself on the front, and we can open it up and have items in here like beacons if they were able to find somebody because we also have an IR camera fully functioning and ready to go. Uh, if they find an individual who's been lost and is injured, we can put a beacon in here, drop it right where they're at, makes it a lot easier for those search and rescue guys to find. Medicine, but uh, again, I think my favorite so far has been dropping a, a wedding ring on this. Anyway, let's make these things creative, you guys. <laughs> That's outstanding. All right. Well, Nikolai, thank you so very much. Oh, it's my pleasure. My pleasure. And um, from CES 2016, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crew signing off. Fly safe.